I had clear skin until my 20s when I was hit with cystic acne. At my lowest moments, not even my own family saw me without makeup. I didn't even want to look at myself in the mirror. It was a really dark time. The online acne community helps me embrace my skin. I want to normalize acne. It's nothing to be ashamed of. It'll be my first time like taking public photos. I'm excited. <laughs> My name is Karen. I'm 28 years old. Before my 20s, my skin was pretty clear. I had an odd pimple here and there, but nothing that I would consider acne. So I started getting cystic acne as soon as I hit my 20s. I was on an IUD hormonal birth control, and that's when it all kind of started getting a little out of control. I knew acne was a thing, but I never, since I didn't have to deal with it, I never really knew how it felt, how painful it was, and the just how draining it could be emotionally and physically. I've tried all kinds of topicals that you can find in the drugstore. I've tried antibiotics. I've done like restricted diets before where I've cut out dairy and salts and you know all uh, what's considered acne triggers. In May 2021 was my most recent severe breakout I would say. Um, it, it was on a level of pain that I've never dealt with before. So my confidence was at an all-time low. It was I isolated myself from everyone. Friends, family. It did take um, a really big toll on me. I went to another state and I completely separated myself. I didn't even want to look at myself in the mirror. It was a dark time. I would not leave the house without makeup. And even though you can cover the redness, you can't cover the texture. I did put like a lot of value in, into my physical appearance. And once I was hit with like such severity, I had to dig deep and I had to really like reflect like who am I as a person to kind of bring myself out of that that darkness. And um, I would just look at myself in the mirror and I would just look at my eyes and I'm like, you have more to offer or it's not, you're not just your physical appearance. You're worth more than what you look like on the outside. So I started following the acne positivity hashtag on Instagram. Just kind of look at other people's photos, read their captions, read the comments and I just felt like it was such a safe community. I was like, I'm gonna be that person to share that this is another form of acne. And I had it, had a social media presence in like five years. <laughs> I was freaking out, honestly, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I posted my first picture and I just stared at it and I was like, do I really wanna do this? This is it. And so I posted it, I felt like a sense of relief like, uh, I, I don't have to hide anymore. I'm not hiding. I'm turning it into a positive. If just one person saw my picture and felt a little bit better about themselves, or felt like they're, that I created a safe space for them, then that was, you know, my job here is done. So I'm meeting my sister to do yoga now. Throughout this whole journey, my sister has been my number one supporter. And yoga has been a lifesaver. It's helped me create that mind-body connection and just be patient with my body. I mean, you've been there from the beginning. Like, how do you see my confidence? Like, how has it changed? You are a completely different person. And I can't even say from when your acne started because I feel like this just kick-started your growth um, as a person, as an individual. I kind of want to go to the beach and take some pictures out in public for my Instagram. Let's do it! Well, we're at the beach right now. My advice is it's okay. You're going to be okay. And it's okay to feel down and, and be sad. And it's okay to be happy. And it's okay to, to want to wear a little bit of makeup to make you feel a little bit better. And to just love yourself and love every single aspect of yourself.